songs are over. When the songs are over, we got a little project you're going to finish. We on, we're on? God bless you. Uh-oh. Can't see me. I can't see my mug up here for Ricky. No. We're glad to be with you tonight in Christian Life. We've got a special presentation from our dear sister Shelly back there. We're looking forward to God doing good. It is, it's special because the Dallas Cowboys are playing, right? And she's here. So she made a special effort. That's her favorite team. So we're looking forward to what God's going to do. Let's worship Him. God bless our team here. It's good to have each one here, Amen. and it's good to have Jesus here as our Lord and Savior. There's one thing about it. Uh, there may be times when I don't show up. There may be times when you don't show up, but God always shows up. He? He's here every time. Let's just, let's just thank the Lord for being here. Let's just give him a good hand clap of praise. Glory to God. Glory to God.
justice, all the splendor of heaven, the streets of gold and everything. But that's something we probably won't notice for a while because the splendor of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ will be there. His spirit. And there's no light there. But the Lord God Almighty is the light thereof. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus.
going to let him work with you faith in this room. And I think I know what Jenny's message is about. I do. I don't know personally. But I think my spirit is working with her tonight. You know, Brother Nathan hit it on the head this morning. The message he had. It broke my heart a bit more. Where we belong. Praise you, God. We praise you, God. Give all glory to God. Glory to God. You can get the glory. glory. I don't do this to get glorified on myself. I do it to raise the name of Christ. Amen. I give Christ all my glory. Because without him, I would be nothing. I would have nothing. What you, let's take this one more time. Meet y'all again just inside that Eastern Gate. Yeah. 
just linger near that eastern cave. Well, for I'm coming in the morning. It's just inside that eastern gate. This Sunday singing, next Sunday night, same time, same place. God's good. He's going to minister through song uh, next Sunday night. And we mentioned about our Valentines, February 12th. We'll get more to you soon. The annual business meeting soon. Linda has some sheets back there. We just encourage anybody that didn't today, grab one of those or both of those. Be awesome. The Bible will bless. Amen. 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 The Word yes, of God blesses and ministers. And we had one more we wanted to add. I talked to Terry about it today. In two weeks, we'll ask our brother if he'll... He and Orlando will share what the Lord lays to them. And so that'll be February the 5th. So, amen. amen. Hey, Brother Nathan. Yes, ma'am. I've got, I've got to say something. Okay. It's been All on right. my heart. All right. Um, somebody needs to hear this. I debated about even bringing it up. But uh, this week has been really bad for me. Really bad. Ricky can attest to that. I've been really sick. Um, one night was particularly bad. I remember holding Ricky's hand and saying, Ricky, I love you. But, you know, I didn't know. But I talked to Ruth. God bless Ruth if you're watching. God bless you. And she tells me, she said, imagine you at the foot of the throne of Christ when you get like that. Well, I was sleeping, sitting up on the headboard, feeling really bad, coughing every breath, couldn't breathe. Mm -hmm. it, it was horrible. And I'm not saying this is a poor pill for me. And it's bad enough when you're physically sick, 
but then you have spiritually fighting the same night. It's horrible. So that's what I did. I imagined myself at the foot of the throne of Christ. And I was talking to him just like I'm talking to y'all. I was talking to Christ. And what he did then, I never will forget it. And I hope everybody gets the experiences once in a while. I was sitting down talking to him. And he just reached down and held me in his arms. And that pure love that I felt from God, the purest of pure love. Amen. Thank you, that Jesus. has felt my whole soul. Yes. Now, the next day, was I hurting? I was so hurting, yes. Sometimes Ricky has to help me get out of bed. But that pure love that he chose to give me that night was wonderful. And I hope everybody and whoever needed to hear that, God will give you that pure Amen. love. He will give it to you. Amen. 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 Up here. Can you stretch out your hands toward our sister here? Father God, you remind us, dear Lord, in those times how much you love us and in all that we're going through. And for our sister, dear God, as, a, as we're a family here tonight, uphold her, Lord God, with your hand. Let her know, dear God, that, Lord, you're ministering to her every day, every day, even when it's struggling, dear God, that that love is going to continue just to go with her, Lord. And then as she's at your feet, dear God, and Lord, she doesn't plan on going anywhere, but she wants to stay close to you. Minister to her, dear God. Lord, we believe as she's proclaimed that because you died on the cross for us, we are healed. And we stand in that healing tonight with our sister, dear Lord, and believe for good. That it, the week that it's been, dear God, oh, we believe that you break every chain for this week ahead. For the day ahead, we stand in Jesus' name that the power of God will overshadow her. The love of God will flow through her, dear Lord, that she will be able to minister uninhibited by the physical, uninhibited by the enemy. In Jesus' name, victory, dear God. Victory, we pray in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. Bless you, Lord. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you, Lord. Isn't God good? Amen. Even in the midst of what we're going through, He is amazing. Yes, he is amazing. I appreciate it, Shelly. I pre I, I've had the pleasure of knowing her and the family for a good while. They've been a part here with us for a good while, and they've had me in their home. We've had some, some good times, and they, they've been a blessing. And I, this is the first time I recall this that she shared, and I'm excited about seeing what the Lord's going to do for her. Alan and all the crew that's here, we're sure glad y'all are here, and just looking forward to God's blessings tonight. So, here you go. God bless you. Can I sing this first? Talk about getting out of your comfort zone. I'm not going to stand out front of you. But I said you're going to do it this time. Man, let me give you some advice. When we were little, our dad had a certain look. And we knew when we got that look, we had crossed the line. Amen. Guess what? You can't argue with God. That's right. That's right. I tried. I had started studying this subject months back. And God told me a couple weeks ago, I want you to give it to everybody. And argued with me. Mm -hmm. Lord, are you sure you don't mean to give this to Brother Nathan to give to everybody? Are you sure you don't mean to give it to Brother Bob or Brother Gary or anybody else but me? And he said, no, you do it. That's right. Are you sure about this? Do you know what you're doing? Wait a minute, you're God, you know what you're doing. Why am I arguing with you? Yeah. Guess what? I got the look. Yeah. <laughs> when you get the look from God, it's ten times worse than when you get the look from Dad. Oh, oh yeah. Okay? <laughs> We're going to be talking tonight about praise and worship. Amen. It's, it's hard for us to let go sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I have a new saying. Let God let go and let God flow. Amen. Okay? Amen. Isabel has a, a present for everybody. I want you to just hang on to it until the end of the service. Ms. Broke will be each person one. Okay. okay. Is it, is it edible? 
We have nothing to be afraid of. I'm sorry. Because you know what? The, the praise is going to cast the fear out. All right. Amen. When you start praising, the glory of God starts falling. Oh, that's right. Yes. And I was sitting here this morning. I heard worship group. I have worship team. We were singing. And I was sitting there thinking about, Lord, we just, we all need to praise you. We need to praise you more. Yes. And God had shown me when we all come in one mind and one accord, yes. mm -hmm. his spirit is going to fall like a blanket. Yes. Amen. Amen. I literally saw it this yes. morning. Literally sit here and watch it come from the ceiling and just fall over everybody. Yes. And it's going to consume you. Come on. Yes. You're going to want more. Yes. You're going to, you're going to desire more. You're going to be desperate for more. Yes. Okay? We have to stop waiting for God to show up. I think a lot of times we sit here and we think, well, you know, Lord, I don't feel your presence, so I'm not going to do anything. Guess what? He's not going to beat you over the head. <coughs> he has to be invited. He has to be welcome. Yeah. He's yeah. not going to come in when he does not feel welcome or invited. True. But guess what? When we start praising him, we invite him. Yes. Uh -huh. That's when his spirit shows up. Right. So instead of us sitting back, going, okay, I'm just going to wait for the spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wait to feel it. I'm not feeling anything yet. Yeah, no. Not yet. Start praising, Guess what? You raise those hands and you start saying, Lord, well, I'll praise you. Here it's going to come. Yeah, That's right. You don't have to wait on it. You have to invite it. Mm -hmm. Why are we so quiet? When it comes to God. Why are we so quiet when we're just praising Him? Prime example. When Allie was cheering. Those girls would come out on stage. Waving. Well guess what all of us parents started doing? We look like a bunch of idiots. We're all back there going, yeah! Why don't we do that for God? Why don't we do that when He shows up for us? We don't do that. But we will do it for some carnal thing. And it doesn't make sense right. to me. It doesn't make sense. That's like Donna. I guarantee you, if Donovan makes a good play, Donna's going to be over yelling. That's right. Yep. That's yeah. my boy. Yeah. Well, guess what? That's my guy. Right. That's my right. savior. Right. He's willing to have her knee. Right. Why am I not giving him that? Why are you not giving him that? Why is none of us giving him that? He deserves that. Yes, 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 he does. Yes, deserves yes. it. Another thing, Isabel, when she went to nationals, and she sends me this text message, Mom, we won first place on one rope bridge. If I just sent back, okay, what would that have done to her? Yeah. But I said, I'm so proud of you. You did amazing. Mm -hmm. Guess what? It's the same thing with God. Well, that's right, that's right. If I had not encouraged her, and I guarantee you, if I had sent her, okay, her little head would have fallen and she'd been disappointed. Look what all God has done for us. Come on. Right. Do right. we ever do that for him? Do we do it enough? No. Because I guarantee you, when everything he's done for us, and we just like, okay, it breaks his heart. Come on. Yes, it, does. it hurts. Right. He inhabits his praises. He dwells in them. He loves them. He wants us to praise him. And he don't want us just to sit back and say, I praise you, Lord. Thank you for what you've done. No. No, no, no. Do you understand there's angels that walk around the throne of God and continuously, unceasing yells, holy, holy, holy. That's right. Guess what? We need to be more like those angels. That's right. We need to give more. We need to... to Press in and just give him what he is due. Because we are robbing God by not right. doing that. That's right. <clears throat> December 21st. I'm on the way to work. I get to an intersection. The whole car just dies. I'm sitting on the side of the road. It's 26 degrees. Okay, well, what am I going to do? First, my first instinct, tears. I just started crying. <coughs> Lord, I don't know what I'm going to do. What are we going to do? I don't know what to do. You know, I heard him say, praise me anyway. Mm -hmm. So I know I look like an idiot sitting in the car, mm -hmm. especially when the three people stopped and asked me if I was okay. And I'm sitting there going, thank you that I even have a car to stop. 
thank you that I have this car because there's no pe there's people that don't have a car. But you have blessed me with this car. Even though I can't go anywhere, even though I won't move, I still praise you that I have it. And guess yeah. what? God worked it out. And it got fixed that day. It got fixed that day. The alternator had caught on fire. It got fixed that day. And I'm sitting on the side of the road. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I don't even have a car. So God's teaching me how to pray different. Man. I get up in the morning. And instead of going, okay, Lord, I need you to do this today. And I need you to watch over my kids. And I need you to do this. God's teaching me something. Start your day out thanking him. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for I have this. Thank you, Lord, that I have breath in my lungs. Thank you that I can see. Thank you that I can hear. Thank you that I can walk and talk. Thank you I have a home to live in. I go through the whole list. And then it's like, you know what? Jesus, I praise you. I thank you for that. I praise you for that. And Brother Bob's been touching on this every Sunday. Did you wake up praising him? And then I go into, Lord, would you do this and more? Would you watch over my kids today? But you know what? We need to give him thanks and praise first before we start asking for a bunch of stuff. If my kids come to me, Mama, I need this, this, and this, I'm like, okay. But if every once in a while they come to me, Mom, thank you for cooking dinner. They did that today. I'm like, you don't have to thank me for cooking dinner. Yes, we do. Guess what? And it made me feel good. Sorry, yes. It made me feel really good. Yep. Guess what? When we do that with God, he smiles. Yes, that's right. He beams. Yes. He and guess what? He blesses. That's right. He blesses. That's right. Do you realize everything we have is because of him? That's right. Yes. You know, when you don't have food in the house, praise him anyway. Come on. Sorry. When your car breaks down, it's 26 degrees, and you're sitting on the side of the road, praise him anyway. Oh, sorry. When your kids are sick, praise him anyway. Sorry. When you're sick, praise him anyway. Right. When there's no, there's no way that you don't know what you're going to do, everything's falling apart, guess what? Praise him and he puts it all in place. Right. Because when you praise him, he knows that you trust him. Right. He knows that you're giving in everything to him. Lord, I trust you with this. I'm not even going to worry about it. Am I human? Yes. Do I worry about it? Yes. But I still, every time I find myself worrying about it, Lord, I'm giving this to you. It's your problem. Right. It's your problem. You're in control. Yeah. You are my creator. You're my savior. That's right. You're my Lord. You're in control. Yep. Not me. Because right. trust me, I'd be in a ditch somewhere. Mm -hmm. But if you yeah. pray about everything and praise about it before, before it happens, guess what? He'll make it happen. Well, see well. He'll make it happen. See well. There's been times that we had nothing to eat. And I go and look in the cabinet and say, okay, why don't I go feed my kids? And Lord, I don't even know what to feed my kids. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Lord, I praise you that there's food here. But guess what? There always, somebody shows up with food. Never fails. God won't fail you. But you got to put him first. Amen. You got to praise him first. We had this conversation the other night with a friend of mine. And I think I made him a little mad. But it'll be all right. Because God told me. He said, I'm about to lose everything I have. And I said, you know what? God will take care of us. He said, I thought that. I said, but are you dedicated? Do you live for him? Well, do you praise him for it even though you don't have it? Mm -hmm. Because guess what? If you do that, you're going to have it. Amen. He inhabits his praises. Yes, he does. Yes. Yes. Put up Psalms 148, please. Verse 7. Praise ye the Lord. Praise ye the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise ye him, all his angels. Praise ye him, all his hosts. Praise ye him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars of light. Praise him, ye heavens of heavens, and ye waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For he commanded, and they were created. He hath also established them forever and ever. He hath made a decree which 
shall not pass. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons and all ye deeps. And it goes on down through there talking about the beast. And, do you know what the, the first seven, do you know what the first two words, the first three words, and the first seven verses of, of that is? Praise, Praise ye him. He inhabits our praises. He wants our praises. He tells, he tells us to enter his gates with thanksgiving. Yeah. Enter his courts with praise. Yes, yeah. I don't know if you know how it works, but coming into Jerusalem, you had to go through the gate. When you got through the gate, it was a big open space, which they called the courts. Guess what? You can't get through that gate without giving him his thanksgiving. So if you want to get in the intersection where God is the strongest, you've got to give him thanksgiving and praise. That's right. Mm -hmm. If not, you're not getting anywhere. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Psalms 22 and 3. And, and I love Psalms. I love Psalms because it's about praising Pretty much the whole book is about giving God his praise and his glory. Yes. Amen. <laughs> but Psalms 22, 3. But thou art holy, and thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. He inhabits it. He lives in it. He dwells in it. You want a closer relationship with God? Praise him. Mm -hmm. You want to feel his presence? Praise him. That's right. And I'm not talking about being quiet. Praise me. I'm talking about, Lord, we praise you. Hallelujah. Amen. He loves it. Yes. He lives in it. Yeah. And we need to live in it. Uh -huh. Amen. Now, back to my first one. Are you going to let the stones cry out your name? No. Or are you going to give him praise words to do? Guess what? He created all of nature to praise him. It's in here. Read it. It's in here. It's true. He's created creation to praise him. Yeah. Does a rock have a mouth? Nope. But you know what? It can still be praised to God. Oh. Yes, it can. <coughs> Does a tree have a mouth? Nope. But have you ever stopped just listen to the wind rustle through the trees? Guess what? We're praising God. Yes, they are. All the creation. Is created Sorry. to praise God. Sorry. Yes. So back to my question. What are you going to name your rock? Are you going to let your rock do your praising? No. Or are you going to lay that rock down and you're going to say, I'm going to do it myself. I'll do it myself. I praise you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. <laughs> is going to come out? And I know I didn't go through all the scriptures that I had written, but I, I feel like this is a good time that we need to Kind of wrap it up. We're going to do a song. Praise is powerful. Okay? <clears throat> we're going to do a song. The words of the song, we're going to sing it with it because we didn't have enough time to practice. But anyway, as we sing this song, I want you to make a choice. If you're going to let that rock praise God for you, hold on to it. Give it a name. Take it home. If you're not going to let that rock, praise God for you, I want you to come up here and lay it on this altar. Okay?
Can you just praise the Lord one more time here? He would be on that page, wasn't he, girl? You need to be on that page. You said that phrase in the song. You don't praise him, serve him, love him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You want to do that? Sure. I can pull it out. We sure can. I'll take care of it. Where's the bag? Where's the bag? Can you just praise him in the house? He's yeah. Yeah. Our sister yeah. said it's true. We need to praise him. Sister Shelly preached on what I thought she preached on. <laughs> Lord. If she remembered back a couple of months ago, we, we were here on the worship practice. And we were talking about being on a solid rock. Yes. What was her message about? Being on a solid rock. Praising the one and only Savior. I thank God for that message. I sat back there and tears just broke down my eyes. That's when you know God is with you. That is when God knows how you truly feel about Him. It's because you're not afraid to let the tears fly.
and to take care of us. And just for that reason alone, if there was no other reason, that's why we should praise him. If there was nobody else on earth but me, he would do it all for me. He would do it all for you. That's why we praise him. He loved us before we knew him. Praise him, let's serve him, and let's love him tonight, church. Join in if you feel like clapping your hands, stomping your feet. This is a good one to do, no one. Amen. Yep. Amen. Yeah. Take it away.
not here by accident, dear God. That when she stood forward to be baptized, dear God, when she stands forward in church to praise, we believe, dear God, as our sister shared that you're going to have her praises. You're going to live inside Abby, dear God, as she's laughing and singing. And then, Lord, you're going to use Abby for good as she goes and her family, as she goes to the school, as she goes where she's going.
praise with you. Because we cheer for you. Amen. 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 Yeah. Hearts and minds clear. We, Shelly, thank you for sharing tonight. And we just thank the Lord. We praise Him. He lives there. God bless you. We'll see you soon in Christian life. Let us know. Love to hear from you out there. God bless you.